So the resourcefulness of our main three characters, Cat, Liam, and Augustus, and they are wonderful human beings, and there may be some flaws that are going on because they are dealing with high stress situations and they have to figure this out on their own and they are protecting themselves from potential murderer and they are also trying to connect the dots and they are definitely detectives and this is such a tight knit space of time so you really see their thoughts and their feelings and their reactions and and the writer writes you know with detail because you can actually like see the characters like i see her cat as olivia rodrigo i see liam as Carl kestis or cameron monhan and i see augustus like percy jackson walker scobell you know I, I i really imagine all these characters very vividly and I also understand their distress, but also the plot twist and the like, oh my goodness, that happened. And also like, they are like trying to say the right things. And there is so much, there is so much like good, like, like nuanced conversation about this idea of such charming liars and yeah it, it really does go to that and people are multi-dimensional and also yeah there, there there's so much like psychology kind of feel vibes you know also like whoa i was like falling for like believing someone's monologue and, and, and the characters like I don't believe that I'm like whoa how come I'm like there is so much like oh my gosh this just happens uh -huh. and there is a great amount of great writing and I feel like some authors when they're doing mysteries they do like the least character talked about is the potential bad guy and that is an interesting conundrum that i've been noticing um especially with karen mcmanus and also rick riordan i know you you were surprised right well you know he writes tres novare series and it's like a like a detective like drunk like guy that solves stuff i know that sounds random, I know, but I really wish they could do some project with that. I have to ask Mythomagic if they're gonna ever do something with Tres Navarre. Like, I'm dying to know. Um, but let's get back to this book. <laughs> I mean, this picture of the book really, really is always spot on. Um, and things are not what they seem and character motivations are fascinating and interesting um to say the least and whoa you're gonna really find um i don't know what you're gonna find in this book but i hope you can pick it up soon I am about to finish it. I have a hundred pages left and it's like, whoa. And I can't wait to give you more of an in-depth analysis when I have a script because whenever I'm talking like this, it's very off the cuff and that scares me because I'm autistic and I really analyze things. So thank you for watching.